Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English. I'm Garrett, and my name is Esther. Today, our topic is sports, and our title is water sports, or sports that you can play in or on the water. During the summertime, during the warmer months, many people enjoy many different kinds of water sports. Today, we'll talk about surfing. Yeah, it's a great sport you can play on top of the ocean. It's a great way to relax in the early morning on those hot summer days. Now, let's go to our reading to find out more. Summer is a great time to be at the ocean. Some people just like to play or swim in the waves. Other people enjoy surfing. Learning to surf isn't hard, but it does take practice. You just need a surfboard, some waves, and good balance. You need to learn to stand on the board and not fall off. It takes time to learn. So keep trying. You can also learn to do tricks. Some people can even jump over waves. Thanks, Garrett. Wow, surfing sounds exciting. Now let's go to today's find it question. Our question is: What can Sam's friends jump over while surfing? What can Sam's friends jump over while surfing? Friends, jump on into our conversation today as you try to find the answer to our find it question. Oh boy, I am excited to talk about surfing. I haven't done it in a while, but I used to love to go surfing, so this is going to be great. I look forward to hearing you share about your experience. Surfing, friends. Now let's go to Sonia, who's going to teach us today's keywords. Sam 上周末跟朋友去海边冲浪。他说 ，We went surfing. 名词 surfing 就是冲浪运动。Sarah 问他有没有玩到大浪。Did you surf any big waves? 名词 wave 就是波浪。Sam 说他试了，自己平衡能力不佳，失败很多次。他说他还在学习如何站在板子上不跌下来。I'm still learning to stand on my board and not fall off. 动词 stand 就是站立。他的朋友倒是很厉害。他们会不会玩一些特别的把戏呢 ？Can your friends do any tricks? 名词 trick 就是把戏、花招。Sam 说，他朋友很厉害，甚至还可以跳过浪头。They can even jump over waves. 动词 jump 就是跳跃。Are you having a good summer, Sam? Yeah. I drove to the ocean with some friends last weekend. We went surfing. It was great. I can't wait to go again. Wow, do you surf a lot? Sometimes, but my friends go surfing very often. Do you surf any big waves? I tried, but my balance wasn't very good. I fell a lot. Well, friends, we meet Sarah and Sam as they're having a conversation about their summers. We start with Sarah asking Sam how his summer is going. You can say, "Are you having a good summer?" or you can say, "How is your summer going?" Right. Well, Sam shares that he drove to the ocean with some friends last weekend, but they weren't just laying out on the beach or swimming in the ocean. They went surfing. 
Right, and surfing is the water sport we're talking about today. When you go surfing, you need a surfboard, and you're going to stand on that surfboard, and you are going to be on top of the waves. Right, you ride across the water. Now, in that word surfing, you'll hear the word surf. Now, this is the action that you do when you're surfing, but those waves. Or when the ocean water moves up and down, can also be called surf. Right. So be sure you use this word correctly. Well, Sam had a great time. In fact, he says, "I can't wait to go again." This means you really want to do something again, and you look forward to doing it again. Sonia, can you help us with this phrase? Sam 说。我已经等不及要再去了。I can't wait to go again. 句型，某人 can't wait to 做什么，就是等不及要做什么的意思，表示对某事物热切的期待，迫不及待，是很实用的句型。我们来看例句 ：I can't wait to see my friends next weekend. 我等不及下周末要见到我的朋友了。或是。She can't wait to open her birthday present. 她迫不及待要打开她的生日礼物了。再一句 ，We can't wait for school to start. 我们等不及学校要开学了。Sarah is amazed. She says, "Wow!" and asks Sam, "Do you surf a lot?" Yeah, he doesn't say yes or no to this question. He says sometimes. Sometimes he goes surfing, but his friends go very often. It sounds like they enjoy surfing a lot. Right. And Sarah wants to know more about his experience surfing. She says, "Did you surf any big waves?" Yeah, waves. You need waves when you go surfing. Now, friends, think about going to the beach. And looking out at the ocean, is the water still and flat, or can you see the water moving up and down? If it's moving a lot, then that means there are bigger waves, and you might be able to surf on them. Right, because if the waves are too small, then you won't be able to surf. Now, here the word "wave" is a noun, but if you move your hand like this to someone. This action is also called a wave. You can also wave at someone when you are surfing on a wave. <laughs> right, but be careful because you need to keep your balance when you're surfing. You don't want to fall over. You need to be very careful because when you start to get on the wave, your stomach is on the surfboard. As you go, you slowly stand up while keeping your balance. So if you're waving at your friends, be careful. Right. Sam tried to keep his balance, but he said that his balance wasn't very good. So he fell down a lot. Well, friends, it's time now for us to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Just after this. Welcome back, everyone. Have you ever gone surfing in the ocean? There are people around the world who are professionals at this. They ride waves that are maybe three times as tall as they are. They are amazing. Wow! But you know, Garrett, I think you are amazing because you know how to surf. Friends, let's continue to the next part of today's conversation. Is surfing hard to learn? Not really. You just need a surfboard, some waves, and good balance. I'm still learning to stand on my board and not fall off. That doesn't sound very easy. Can your friends do any tricks? They sure can. They can even jump over waves. 
How did they learn to do that? They spent a lot of time surfing. So Sarah wants to know more about this fascinating water sport. She wants to know if it's hard to learn how to surf. Right. If something is hard to learn, it means that it is not easy for you to learn how to do it. Sam doesn't think it's too hard. He says, "Not really." Yeah, it's not really hard to learn. There aren't that many steps, and you don't need too much equipment. You just need a surfboard, some waves, and good balance. Let's talk about what you need when you go surfing. You need a surfboard. What you stand on, the board that you use to stand on when you go surfing, is called a surfboard. Yeah, you might think of some other sports that also need boards, like skateboarding or snowboarding. Well, a surfboard is quite a bit bigger than any of those boards. Many surfboards are very large. But depending on how tall or short you are, how wide you are, you might choose different surfboards. Yeah, usually longer and lighter ones are a bit easier for beginners. Well, Sam says he's still learning to stand on his board and not fall off of it while he's riding a wave. Right. It sounds like Sam is just starting to learn how to surf. Now, when you are standing, it means that you are in an upright position, and your feet are on the bottom while your head is on the top. Yeah, we are both standing right now. We're not sitting or laying down. We are standing. Right. Sam doesn't want to fall. Off, because when you go surfing and you're not careful, you will easily fall off your board. Sonia, can you help us with the words "fall," "fall off," and "fall over"? Sam 说，我还在学习怎么站在冲浪板上而不跌下来。I'm still learning to stand on my board and not fall off. 今天我们来学习 fall, fall off. Fall over 的不同词义与用法。首先 ，fall 指落下。来看例句 ：Leaves fall from the trees in autumn. 树叶在秋天从树上落下。第二个 ，fall off 是指从某处掉下或是脱离。来看例句 ：The little boy fell off his bike. 小男孩从自行车上摔下来。第三个 ，fall over 指的是倾倒。The tree fell over in the typhoon. 那棵树在台风中倾倒了。Thank you, Sonia. Yes, falling off and standing back up is part of learning how to surf. Right. And Sarah says that doesn't sound very easy. Hey, that's a great sentence. That doesn't sound very easy is today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. That doesn't sound very easy. That doesn't sound very easy. 听起来不是很容易 I'm learning to surf. That doesn't sound very easy. I'm learning to stand on my board. That doesn't sound very easy. I'm learning to do tricks. That doesn't sound very easy. It's not easy. That's why I'm still learning. <laughs> <sighs> That doesn't sound very easy. That doesn't sound very easy. 听起来不是很容易 One thing you can do if you're having fun on your surfboard is not just ride in a straight line. You can also do tricks. That might mean you move your board quickly back and forth or jump around. That sounds exciting. Yes, these tricks are those special moves you might do. Now let's go to the answer of our find it question. Our question was, what can Sam's friends jump? Over while surfing, they can jump over the waves. 
Yes, Sam's friends can do tricks like jump over waves. Friends, when you jump is when you move up and your feet leave the ground. You can even do this with a surfboard. Right, or you can just practice jumping at home with a jump rope. Now Sarah wants to know how Sam's friends learned this trick. Well, they spent a lot of time surfing. It might not be too hard to learn how to do basic surfing, but it might take a lifetime to become really good. Friends, let's go and review our keywords now. Now let's go and review today's keywords. Here is your first keyword. Wave. Wave. Look out for the big waves. Surfing. Surfing. Surfing is a fun sport. Stand. Stand. Where can we stand to watch the game? Trick. Trick. Do you want to see a trick? Jump. Jump. He jumped over the big rock. Friends, those are today's keywords. You're doing a great job practicing. And now it's your, your turn. turn. The words for today are waves, surfing, standing, tricks, and jump. Now it's your turn to use them in a sentence. First one, her dog can do many Correct. Her dog can do many tricks. Next. Jerry likes to swim in the... You're right. Jerry likes to swim in the waves. Next. Can you... Very high. You got it. Can you jump very high? Next. Let's go in the ocean sometime. Good job. Let's go surfing in the ocean sometime. Last one. Everyone is outside. Great answer. Everyone is standing outside. These are all the sentences for today. See you tomorrow here at your turn. Are you having a good summer, Sam? Yeah. I drove to the ocean with some friends last weekend. We went surfing. It was great. I can't wait to go again. Wow, do you surf a lot? Sometimes, but my friends go surfing very often. Do you surf any big waves? I tried, but my balance wasn't very good. I fell a lot. Is surfing hard to learn? Not really. You just need a surfboard, some waves, and good balance. I'm still learning to stand on my board and not fall off. That doesn't sound very easy. Can your friends do any tricks? They sure can. They can even jump over waves. How did they learn to do that? They spent a lot of time surfing. Hey, James. Let's do something fun today. Something fun? Like what? Let's drive to the ocean. We can go surfing. Surfing? Ginger, you can surf? I didn't know that. Well, I can learn. I just need a surfboard and some big waves. Uh, you also need good balance. I have great balance. You need to stand on a surfboard and not fall off. Can you do that? Well, I can try, and so can you. We'll have a lot of fun. Uh, it does sound like fun. Okay, let's go to the ocean and learn to surf. Yay, I can't wait. Woohoo, surfing! <gasps> Ouch. Oh, Ginger, are you okay? No, I, I just lost my balance. I'm, I'm oh. fine. Oh, hi everyone. Welcome to Jack's File. I'm Jack. Hey, do you like surfing? 
I was just watching some YouTube videos about it. It looks really fun, but <laughs> I'm sure it's not easy. Would you like to try surfing? Summer is a great time to spend time at the ocean. Some people just like to play or swim in the waves. Other people enjoy surfing. Learning to surf isn't hard, but it does take practice. You just need a surfboard, some waves, and good balance. It's exciting to ride the waves and feel them lift you. But first, you need to learn to stand on the board and not fall off. But after a while, you can also learn to do tricks. Surfing is a lot of fun. Another fun water sport is paddle boarding. You stand on a big board and use a paddle to move across the water. It's a great way to explore lakes or the ocean. You feel the waves under your feet. If you get tired, you can just sit down on the board and rest. Wind surfing is another exciting water sport. You stand on a board with a sail. You let the wind push you across the water. You move the sail to change directions. When the wind is blowing hard, you can move really fast. Wind surfing is exciting. Surfing looks really fun, but there are other water sports I'd like to try. Paddle boarding looks really fun too. I like to explore a lake on a paddle board. It doesn't look very hard. Maybe I can try it sometime. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time on Jack's File. Well, it might be a long time since I've surfed, but I did go a lot when I was in high school. It was a great way to wake up early in the morning, and it gives you a lot of exercise in your upper body. It's not easy to move your body through those waves. Wow, that's exciting! Did you fall over often? All the time. That's part of surfing. It takes a lot of practice before you can really stand up on your board and ride the waves. Friends, we hope you enjoyed today's lesson about surfing. If you've never done it, maybe the next time you get a chance, try and go surfing. And join us again tomorrow, right here on Let's, Let's Talk, Talk in English. English. Goodbye. Bye.